When Zenith Pharmaceuticals announced a failure, it shocked the nation. The public was split in the middle. He sees that pills out there and he wants to do it. It's up to him. The drugs should be allowed. They can change their lifestyle. But little attention has been paid by the mainstream media to the people for whom a failure is a godsend, a chance to change their lives. This week on DICE, we follow one such person, a pianist who's decided to take a fadia and come out to his fiancée, Lauren. So this is my music room. Lauren doesn't really ever come in here. This is really just my space. It's a pretty good spot for me to be able to keep it. I haven't started it yet because I really want to be sure, you know? Once I start, there's no going back. I take the box out every single day. If I look at the picture, and I really want to be this guy, then I'll break up with Lauren. And I'll tell Lauren that I'm taking a Fadia. Hey, babe. Hi. Don't be mad, but Andre and Tina wanted to be here for your first day of hey, filming. Hey, handsome. How's it feel having a camera in your face? Look, I know this is a piece on your music, but your fabulous and very photogenic friends want to be included too. So. Oh, Miro, don't look so surprised. Your vapid, self-involved friends wouldn't miss a chance to be on camera. What's wrong? Uh, nothing. I just thought we were going to be alone. Sorry, Miro, the camera called us. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so we're musicians too, mm -hmm. but Meryl's the only one to make it big. <sighs> Tina, speak for yourself. I got some rosé. Yeah, Is it too early to drink? No, you know what? Why don't you go open that right now? Like okay then. Oh, come on, there's multiple. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 sure, Andre. Where's the wine? Is my question. What's this? Don't say anything, please. Andre, open. Oh, speaking of, yes. Mm. What's the matter? Here. Is he upset we crashed? Um, mm, no. I don't know. Mm. <sighs> I'm sorry we crashed, but I thought it'd be fine. You're not upset, are you? It's totally fine. It's just a surprise. It's great. What's going on, Miro? Tina. Tell me that's a joke. Please. Hey, please what? Is is there drama? Miro has an aphadia box and a pamphlet. I don't know. Why do you even have that? Lauren, <laughs> why didn't you tell me you were bringing them? Uh, it was supposed to be just you and I. I wanted to tell you in private. Tell me what? Uh, I'm going to. I'm going to take a Fadia. Right, Miro. Miro, what the actual fuck? Is this for real? Are you for real? Miro, is this yours? Yeah. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Andre, Tina. Give us our space. Privacy, please. What? Privacy. But with a camera crew, you don't want privacy. You want less opponents. How long have you wanted to be straight? Stop it. Mira was not going to take a fade Mira, where did you get this? Before you met me, Mira? Not here. Okay, fine, let's do this here. To Miro, congrats on becoming the person you have the right to be. Signed Lillian Dennis, CEO of Zenith Pharmaceuticals. When you sign up, they ask you to fill out like a sort of mission statement that you I don't you wanna hear this. Well, hear it. 
All right, it's fucking real, it's true. Calm down, Miro. I wanted to do this differently, and yet here we fucking are, okay? So when you sign up for Aphadia, they make you sign up, tell them a mission statement about what it means to you, about who you want to be, and then they mocked up that picture for me. It's a picture of me. Jesus. You guys can't be serious, right? I mean, you knew this was coming. What? No, I, I didn't know anything about this. Tina, how many self-improvement schemes have you and I blown through? You can't be surprised, okay? We always talk about living life not on the fringe. I have a shot at that now. You're just mad that you don't. <laughs> you're fucking nuts. That's what this is. So then you're a misogynist. <laughs> what? Don't do that. I'm following your logic here. If my wanting to be straight is internalized homophobia, then your entire transition is just internalized misogyny. That's so fucking different, Miro. How? Okay, how about all the conversations that you and I had about being a true selves? about being the person that we want to be. That's what I'm doing here. I never knew you meant being straight. I never knew you meant being a man. Lauren, how are you so calm? Honestly, it's like the last piece of a puzzle. Lauren, babe, I'm so sorry. I never meant to hurt you, this is all me. You were the perfect boyfriend that anyone could have asked for. Oh, I know. What do you mean, you're not hurt? Of course I am, but... I'm not gonna throw myself on the floor. Like I should be angry, but I'm not. I'm fucking thinking of little Miro and his fingers. Fingers? You guys don't know? Know what? Ah, that makes so much sense. <laughs> Tell them, Miro. Lauren, I know where you're going with this, and it's not the same thing. Just tell them. Okay, fine. When I was a kid, my dad spent all this money on piano lessons. And then my fingers stopped growing. And I couldn't play Rechman and Ossetut's tableau. So my piano teacher told my dad that my chances of being famous were slim. None, really. And my dad was pissed. And he yelled at me, ni para esto eres bueno, and just... It was his last straw, because he had tried everything on me. Soccer, basketball, everything. And piano was the only thing that stuck. And it was like, even that I wasn't perfect for. So, one day after school, I went outside and I found some heavy rocks and I tied a piece of string to them and I tied the string around my finger, all 10 of them. And I took the rocks with the string tied to my finger up to the roof of my dad's house and I dropped it off the roof and it dislocated all my fingers. Lauren's right. No, he's not. You didn't need to fix your fingers then and you don't need to fix yourself now. Why can't you not see that? Because Lauren always forgets the second part of that story. I can play the tableau backwards now if I want to. Can't I, Lauren? Of course you can. Tina, can I stay at your place tonight? No. I mean, yes, of course. But we are not leaving Miro here to destroy his life. Okay, while I grab my things, you try to talk some sense into him. Because I can guarantee you I know this man better than anyone. He's not a logical, firm conversation away from changing his mind. But go ahead, prove me wrong. Listen, Miro, you don't have to be this guy. I understand what you're saying, but this is the last piece. There is no last piece, Miro. And if there was, it'd be called self-acceptance. Oh, fuck this. No! Miro! No!
Could Aphadia be the start of a new era of medicine? I mean, can you think of a better demographic, right? The LGBTQ community is so small, and the rest of the population can say, hey, that's their issue. Not realizing that Aphadia could be a loss leader. Right. They're selling this product at a loss just to open up the door for other, you know, hmm. lifestyle altering medication. That's next week on Dice.